let's start with um, uh, maybe something you answer across all three, but how do we quantify their quantity uh, thinking? How, how do we really dig into the quantitative thinking? There's our work at Talgo is going really deep on the art of great questions and great dialogues. So we have like a whole curriculum on how you can explore these at a high level. Um, when we ask executive candidates about experiences in their past, mm -hmm. uh, we will routinely ask for the quantitative metrics, the before, after, the rates of improvement, the, the situation that they came into quantitatively, what metrics they either were held to or they themselves established at the outset. So we're looking for someone, I don't need someone who recalls the details of every metric from 20 years ago, right? But I do wanna see somebody who when they come into roles, um, either by virtue of ownership of the organization they're in, they, they inherit metrics and targets, or in the absence of those, they establish, they, they create metrics to enable themselves as a leader to lead through a quantitative dashboard as opposed to leading by walking around. Mm -hmm. So there are specific questions we can ask around those metrics, the two froms and the, the levers for improvement. I love questions where an exec tells you about a starting point and an ending point, and they put a number on it. And we say, if you kind of waterfalled that out, if you said, tell me what the big drivers were and roughly how much each one of those levers contributed to the improvement, when someone can go there with me and really talk about uh, each one of those items and sort of covariance between them. I mean, we're kind of getting into the more really nerding out on the numbers, but I love to see someone have some facility to say over 50% of that margin improvement was purely from pricing. And here was specifically how we did it. And here's the analysis we we did to know that we had room for pricing for price increases in, in this part of the business. It's It's that kind of a dialogue that we're looking for to establish that quantitative bet. So, is, and is that the same for the other two with regards to basically competency-based questioning of tell me when you did, tell me when you didn't, tell me what happened, tell me what occurred? Yeah, this gets so this gets a little bit into our our approach and our curriculum. Um, it's interesting to me that if you were to go online and look for schools of thought on great interviewing, and you really trimmed and refined that to try to find the most trustworthy sources. It's mm -hmm. funny that you'll end up in a territory we call tell me about a time when territory. Another way of saying it, a lot of great thinkers on interviewing believe that tell me about a time when or give me an example of X where X is some competency or trait is the best way to interview. I will say this. I think that it is far superior to a lot of very bad approaches, such as how would you establish metrics in this business? Hypothetical, somebody who's not quantitative could weave an incredible narrative about how they would do that, and it bears no resemblance to how they will actually behave in the role. Steer clear from those. So tell me about a time when is at least grounded in the past. But there's a problem with that approach. That approach involves you as the interviewer broadcasting what you're looking for. So if I said, tell me about a time when you really had to get quantitative, when you had to really establish kind of a dashboard or a set of metrics or KPIs that you held the team to. Any savvy exec is going to know exactly what you're looking for. And even the honest ones are going to massage and manipulate their stories to tell you what they know you want to hear. Not, not because they're trying to lie to you necessarily, although many will, but because it's awkward to say, you know, that's not really the way I lead. <laughs> Our approach, we call it side door questions. Side door questions are asking the candidate, asking the executive to take you to stories that are likely to contain relevant content, but without telling them what you're looking for. Tell me about the state of affairs when you came into organization X as yeah. president and chief operating officer. What was happening in the business? How was it performing? What, how did you know that uh, margins were on the wrong path? How did you know that uh, competitors were at risk of uh, curtailing growth. These kinds of questions are either going to lead us to quantification or they're not. And for those execs that are highly quantitative, they will naturally say, I knew it because we actually looked at, we did an analysis of pricing by region, by business line. And what we found was this pattern. 
and then numbers come out. <laughs> so we call it side door questions. It's asking an executive to take you to stories using like these things around situations you inherited, performance of business before and after that naturally lend themselves to quantification and discover how the exec, um, how the exec actually did it in real life. Makes sense.